Thanks for joining us. As always, CT and I were talking about when we last talked to you after the game on Wednesday night against St. Joe's, you talked about effort and compete again. And we've talked a lot about that in post games. You have to feel very good about what your guys were able to do in those categories here this, this afternoon. Give us your account of this game. Yeah, I thought um, in the first half, I thought um, we didn't play with the intelligence needed um, and the fight, like the intensity that was needed. Um, consistently, yeah. you know, there were possessions that we did on both sides of the ball, but um, you know, it just it just wasn't consistent. And I thought we we did a good job. You know, we haven't done that much this year, where we where we play it. You know, not not up to our expectations, or even when we play good in the first half, and then we don't play good in the second half, or we come out flat. Or and I thought we flipped it. I thought um, we did a couple different things. Defensively, when they went to their small lineup, obviously we stopped doubling the post as much. Um, and, and our guys stepped up to the challenge and started guarding a little bit better one on one. And um, we just, we just down the stretch, um, you know, those last few minutes, obviously a couple tough turnovers um, that we can't have and, and, um, and uh, a couple missed free throws that, that, we, that we can't have. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way that the group competed today. And, and, um, you know, I talked to them in the, in the locker room after the game about, um, you know, tonight to me was about um, savvy, like knowing kind of how to win or knowing not how to um, lose, um, and then consistency. Because at times tonight, that were, like the, today was a true game of runs. I mean, there were six on all runs. Like it was like back and forth, back and forth. We would we would get two stops in a row then they'd score two in a row like yeah. it was and so um how are we going to be consistent but but i'm proud of the way that the group competed in the second half i thought they had a lot of pride and that was fun for me to see so something else we talked a lot about is guys building trust so jalen quinn um i mean he looked great tonight so yeah. how much trust did he build with you and your staff tonight well he's been building trust you know um i think jq was a very talented guy um and you know the question mark you know was was why he didn't get recruited at the well he did get recruited at the highest level but why some of those people didn't take him was because of his shooting and and like i've said on here before when we've spoken you know i've seen him every time i saw him with his high school team separate away from his AU team he made at least four threes in every game and so we're going to keep putting in position for him to let it rip we're going to keep putting the ball in his hands um because he's got a super bright future for us um and he's getting the experience he needs to to help us this season and in the future. How about Ben Schweiger? Um, his line in this game, 8 of 14, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. He turned it over three times, but, uh, you know, I, the guy was defending Tyler Burton yeah. part of the time, too. No, no. I mean, this is that was quite an effort. The past week, um, the last three games, I think Ben's really stepped it up defensively. Yeah. And he's just, I don't know, he's just he's figuring out what he needs to do to compete, and he's played, I mean, played 39 minutes tonight that to, the way that he defended um, for 39 minutes is extremely hard and especially against a player like Tyler Burton who was fantastic um, and, and uh, um, you know I'm really proud of, of, of the way that, that he's stepping up competing on the defensive end we know the offensive stuff what he does I mean there's we're about to play one RJ Luis um, at UMass who you know is a really talented six seven wing as a freshman but Outside of that, Ben Ben's got to be one of the, the the better. Jan Farrell's good at Bonnie's too, but but Ben is is just as dynamic as, as those guys, if not more. Yeah. So the last couple of games, our uh, battles in foul trouble, particularly with our bigs. So what yeah. adjustments do we need to make uh, for UMass and the rest of the way? We have to um, one uh, when we're in situations when we're doubling the post or du like we're when we're in positions when we're doubling, we can't get the tic tac fouls. The the the, the not ones where we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Um, I still want them still sliding over and taking charges, um, you know, because there was a couple of those tonight. I think we had three with our bigs um, because Tommy obviously is really good at that. Yeah. But they need to get to the they need to get to the position faster. Yeah. Um, so they got to get there faster. We got to coach it better. Um, and then we can't get the tic tac ones. And then we can't get the ones battling for rebounds. We instead of banging for rebounds up top, we have to wedge out and use our legs and use our hips. Um, which is something that we've really been emphasizing. I mean, obviously tonight they only had four offensive rebounds. They're not a heavy offensive rebounding team. And, and um, um, but, you know, with that being said, um, 
that's those to me are like the three things that that the bigs got to do to uh to eliminate because some of the the banging down there the physicality it, it just it is what it is so now we move on to umass what do you say to these guys to make sure that the momentum that was captured here today and, and even in a loss i mean this was a, it feels like there was momentum gained to say guys just keep your foot on you know yeah. on the pedal because look we're close we're this close but we we got to keep moving in that direction right well to, to you know to win to win these games it takes a little extra that's what we've been talking about is you know and, and i think that extra could be defined as savvy um intelligence and consistency and so um that's all it, it's going to take you know we've watched these you know the way that we break down our post game film i really like we're doing a little bit less but but we're being more specific with with ways in which we kind of like gave the game away and so um when we have good pace offensively when we just do our job where we you know when we're when we're we're trying to get certain looks offensively when we get the looks we want we execute um and we play with a, a good amount of pace and then defensively when we know our game plan and do it with a dog mentality man we got a chance to beat anybody in the country um and we've done this on the road a couple games in a row so um you know, I think, again, I think we can play with anybody, and I think we can beat anybody in the country. And these guys feel it. I just thought I pulled Braden out of the locker room after the game, and, and he can feel it. And um, we just we need a couple guys to just, you know, take that next jump, kind of like how Ben is doing with, from on the defense right now. If we can get a couple more guys doing that, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, let's go get that W on Tuesday. Yep, let's do it, guys. Thank All right. you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Drew Valentine, as always, gracious to come on out and join us on the post-game show. And again.